All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bullet RC coming to you guys again with video another yet. And today, y'all already know what time it is. It's time for this week's heat or hype, where we get to the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the sneaker or streetwear world. That is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it didn't edit it in or it was just that some lip flying around ba su da that I did not want to expose y'all to it. Now, last week, we had a pretty Basuda-filled week. This week, maybe one or two shoes. It's definitely not as bad as last week. Last week was horrible. Horrible. This week, we got some updates, some good releases, and actually a shock drop that happened today that we're going to be talking about. Happened on Nike sneakers. You probably know what I'm talking about. Anyways, man, let's go ahead and jump into this week's heat or hype. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and start off with this week's JB releases. First off, we had the Ray Allen 7s, which I indeed do like. They're still sitting on Nike sneakers, and I thought beforehand, I didn't go out to the mall. I didn't really chase them down heavy because I thought I may be able to actually get this sneaker on sale in the future. It wasn't something that I need to jump out the window for right now, so I was just trying to wait a little bit, see if I can save a little money on this shoe. It's a dope shoe. Don't get me wrong. It's not exactly like the OG because it isn't leather, nor does it have the exact shape of the OG, but you still do get a great colorway with the Ray signature inside the insole, so that's dope. Just with that 7, that that colorway I knew the hype was gonna be crazy so once again I'm waiting trying to see if the price dips down and once it dips down enough then I go ahead and grab myself a pair now we also had the shock drop of the reflection of a champion pack the six seven and eight I dropped my review already on the Air Jordan 6 I gave you guys my opinion and why I thought I was gonna go ahead and let my pair go and just stick with my true OG black and infrared infrared and if you're looking for a size 12 under retail early it's one on Bulls Bodega right now now we also saw the release of the Sakai and Nike collection with the blazer as well as the waffle now if all goes well the waffle review should be up right now there was two videos in one day hopefully it should be a double upload today but yeah definitely one of my favorite releases was definitely the waffle as you guys can see I went ahead I got my pair and um, the review should be up right now so if you have not seen a review on these it is up but wait on it just wait Go ahead and peep that after you get done with the heater hype. I slept through the release, didn't get the blazers, and I had to actually cop these through StockX and got them on release date. So it wasn't too bad. There was nowhere locally that I could have got them, and trusting Nike sneakers with my sneaker purchases is is just not well advised. And that leads us into the next shoe where we have both of the Fear of God ones and the Sprucer Minty colorway, as well as the Orange Pulse colorway. So the Orange and the Spruce Green Fear of God ones. You guys know how much I love the Fear of God one. You guys know how much I wanted both of these sneakers. I literally woke up yesterday in the morning. I didn't have to be up early. I didn't really have to do anything early in the morning. I woke up to get these sneakers. I rushed downstairs. Get on my computer just because of my wallet and everything is downstairs. I get on my computer, I load up, I enter the draw, and I wait for 10 minutes. And during this 10 minutes, I'm waiting. I'm just thinking, I'm not getting these shoes, bro. Like, there's, there's no way I'm getting these shoes. And lo and behold, neither of my entries was selected. I think this sneakers release for these fear god ones was probably one of i guess it was my saltiest release but i literally came out of that one like why do i even try on this app anymore and i feel like that's how a lot of people feel i was wearing these and someone came up to me and was like yo i tried on nike sneakers i couldn't get them and we literally dapped on fuck sneakers that's what he said he was like yo fuck sneakers he raised his hand dapped them he's like fuck sneakers i hate that app i don't know how it works i don't know how random it is but it's just it's annoying man the bots eat up the regular releases you have no idea how much luck you have on draws like i, I don't know man i don't know what to do i don't know the solution all i know is something's got to change with that shit, bro because people are starting to hate the sneakers app now next up on the yeezy and adidas side of things we got the release of the vanta black all black 700s now this was in store the online release will be on june 8th the online release on the 8th is only for adidas just wanted to clear that out real quick but i got my pair i like them all black vantas to me better than the utility black 700s i wanted them i copped them and i went ahead and dropped the review up next we have an update for the supreme air jordan 14 the retail will be 200 
hundred and forty eight dollars that's it there is no set in stone release date yet honestly the release date doesn't matter because i'm not copying these shits and I, I see what jb did they put bloody o in these joints they tried to sell them to me like that nah nah not working now we also got to look at this brand new adidas oswego now once again this is the same shoe that we saw push T preview back at coachella but this time it's coming in an all over orange and navy colorway and this really reminds me of the young one colorway that i already have so i hope they don't just kind of redo a lot of the same colorways on the oswego because i like the oswego i want to try them out just don't want to have the same colorway in this specific sneaker now we talked about this shoe way way earlier probably back in january or february but we finally have an image or an image of what it should look like the air jordan 13 in that lakers colorway and this one's supposed to be dropping next month in july i'm pretty sure we're going to be having more details more pictures more info throughout the next coming weeks it's very very close to the release date on this sneaker so just know they do drop up next month just be looking out another new nike sb collab popped up this week as well and that's only nike dunk sb low and this is actually a para collab now i've always known the para and nike collabs to be on air max especially some of the more like historic legendary para air max ones that have dropped throughout the different years and now we're going to take on the dunk low but there also should be a blazer as well once again there's not a lot of info we just have pictures of them they do exist para nike sb probably at some point this year now this next shoe is going to be retroing on june 29th and honestly i never knew this shoe as anything other than either the shocks or the vince carter joints like that's basically it but it is the nike shocks bb4 now these are going to be retroing on june 29th like i said before and vince carter's actually been wearing like nike pe's throughout when he's been playing just some throwbacks and i guess people were wondering when they were actually going to come back out and yes now this shocks pair is dropping once again this shoe for me isn't my particular style but i just remember seeing vince in them they do have that nostalgia factor to them which is dope and it's cool to see them come back for sure now i had a few people hit me about this shoe and it is the cdg and nike shocks tl now i'm gonna tell y'all right now this shoe is ugly like the fake gold chains on the shoe as well it's pretty ugly but i will say this that the right person can definitely make these look good y'all remember the cdg forces with the big dinosaur on the toe they look mad crazy but i remember i was in australia i was shopping and i seen a chick wearing them and she had the right fit on with them and it, it looked good so although these are definitely on that weird shit on that uglier shit with the right fit i can definitely see them working but once again i don't really like the fake gold chain on it it's a little bit much for me but i'm looking forward to seeing someone put a dope outfit together with these once again they are ugly they they are weird they are cdg but i know somebody can pull them off so salutes to whoever that is and uh, i'll be looking for that ig flick now for the last few months some pictures have been popping up of a white and yellow air drawing one and now we know that actual air drawing one is called let me check this the first class flight Air Jordan 1 and still it's a weak pair of Air Jordan 1s in my opinion. I don't really like the all over perforated leather on this pair. The yellow hits aren't bad but the barcode with like the stats and stuff on it. I don't know I'm just not feeling this pair. They've been dropping so many ones and so many good ones that when a bad joint comes along like I'm actually not mad. I'm kind of glad that means I don't have to spend any money on it at all and that's how I'm feeling about these. This is a super super easy pass. Um, these are actually pretty trash, especially for an Air Jordan 1. That's just how I feel about it. Now, up next, we also have Pirates coming through once again with more photos of this off-white and Nike Waffle Racer. It's the same shoe that we talked about last week, so I'm not going to talk a lot about it, but this is coming in a different colorway in black and pink instead of your normal white gray beige kind of colorway in neon or orange. This one is just switching up the formula just a little bit. Once again, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I still like the white ones better, but uh, probably won't come in my size anyway, so it's all good. Okay, so we got some updates from last week. I talked about this shoe, and it is the Matthew Williams or Elite's and Nike type collab. Now, it is on a Nike free sneaker. It's a brand new Nike free sneaker, and it is exactly what I thought and what some of you guys thought as well, is that it is a sneaker inside of kind of like a shell or an outer sole that can be attached. Now, you guys see the shoe right here, once again they're ugly they are definitely ugly and even the nike free that's underneath all of it doesn't look too great either usually i would like the kind of all over 
fly knit type socky sneakers but this one in particular i'm not really feeling i get it i think the ability to put the vibram outsole on the shoe is cool i just don't necessarily think i like how it all came together or how it looks but at the same time I see him and I understand why somebody might like him, but they're still ugly though. Let's, let's not get that twisted. They are still ugly. Now this next shoe, I'm not gonna take a lot of time talking about because neither I nor you will probably ever own it. Now this was actually a series of PEs for the Jordan MLB players and you guys can see right here, it is military theme. I've seen a couple videos of people unboxing it. It's a really cool box, it's a really cool package. It's a cool pair of sixes. It's something that no one else will ever have. So it is cool for that. Is it the best looking Air Jordan 6? No, but the packaging mixed with everything together, um, still a definite dope pack. And if it hit my door, I would not complain. Is it gonna hit my door? Probably not. Actually, I'm 100% sure it's not going to. Now we got two more shoes to talk about and then we are done, we are out of here. First off, Toy Story 4 and Adidas actually have an Ultra Boost that I like and it comes in this form right here which is the Buzz Lightyear pair. I'm assuming that the first pair we saw was the Woody pair and I still think they could have done a better job with that one. The Buzz Lightyear ones are way, way better. Like this is something that I could see myself actually wearing. Yes, it is kind of bright. It has those bright colors with the green, the neon greens and the purples but the majority of the sneaker really is white with some colored accents and the Buzz Light years are just light years ahead of the Woody pair, in my opinion at least. And then last up, we had a shock drop today of the signature Raptor Air Jordan 4. Now it is the same exact Raptor 4s that we got before, but this time you have a small Drake insignia, small Drake sign right underneath the Jordan logo instead of the flight on the front. Now when I saw this, I thought it was very interesting because a lot of people's argument is always, oh, people wouldn't buy this shoe without a name. People wouldn't buy this shoe unless it said blah, 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 blah. So I went on StockX just to see, I wonder what the price difference between is the regular Raptors and the actual pair with Drake's name on it. And the difference for my size was about 40 to 50 bucks. So if you want the pair with little Drake signature on it, it's gonna cost you 40 extra. If you just wanna buy the ones without Drake signature, it's gonna be $40 less so what was very interesting but another thing with drake's collabs is that they're never anything different it's always just a color swap on a sneaker with every shoe it's been a color swap or it's been a material swap and another thing people brought up is that that was supposed to be the original raptor 4 was the drake pair at that time the contracts blase blah he's wearing adidas y'all know how that was going no one really knew what was going on where he was going and they just released his shoe without his signature and now we got one with his signature either way it doesn't really matter to me. Raptor 4s is a strong Jordan 4 Retro with or without his signature on them. But hey, listen, that's it. Much love to all the fan followers and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cv by the way. Here, there, blah, blah, blah. Of course, my shoes are back there. So, Bullet RC, and I'm gonna see you on the next video. Make sure y'all drop a like on this bit. Videos have been dropping day after day after day. And I'm gonna see you on the next one. Y'all be easy. Peace.